Aww, animals. Bet you didn't know gators could climb stairs. A South Carolina family got the shock of their lives in the early hours of Easter Sunday when this nine-foot-long alligator waddled up onto their porch. Homeowners Steve and Susie Polston heard some loud noises coming from outside and thought they were being burglarized. It never crossed their minds that an alligator would be able to climb the 15 stairs up to their back porch. Somehow the gator smashed through an aluminum screen door and then made himself at home. Steve and Susie tried to get the beast to budge, but the gator wasn't having it. So they called the Department of Natural Resources who sent out an officer. The Bolstons barricaded themselves in their home while the officer tried for the next two hours to get the alligator to move. Unfortunately, folks, this story does not have a happy ending. South Carolina law states that a trapped nuisance alligator has to be killed. And faced with the choice of waiting it out, possibly for days, the officer decided to euthanize the beast. The Polstons, bless their hearts, said they felt pretty bad that the alligator was put to sleep. They said they've installed a more secure porch door, and we've been putting a gate on the stairs to stop any more unexpected gator guests from dropping in. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Wild animals turn up in the unlikeliest of places. Moose falls into family home, then drops a deuce. A Haley, Idaho family has quite the amusing tale to tell after this lovely herbivore came crashing into their lives at the weekend. On Sunday, January 30th, the moose was reportedly walking along when it fell down a three-foot deep window well and into the family's basement. The family created a makeshift barrier with mattresses and a sofa to keep the animal contained. She reportedly remained calm throughout the ordeal, although she did crap a lot. The moose was there for about two hours until the cops arrived. They tried to lead her out, but she charged at them several times. So they wound up knocking her out with a tranquilizer and then took her outside, where she woke up a little confused, but free. Authorities suspect recent snow in the area pushed the moose, as well as other animals, closer to towns and homes. Bears caught swimming in backyard of California home. In California, bears are highly respected creatures. But when temperatures rise, they're also skilled trespassers, sneaking into residential neighborhoods to search for fruit, rummage through trash cans, and even sneak into pools like this happy dude. On July 28th, the Arcadia Police Department posted this video recorded by a local resident. On a day when temperatures rose to 92 degrees Fahrenheit, who can blame him for taking a dip in a stranger's pool? Look at all that fur! He looks like he's having a grand old time with not a care in the world. But not everyone would enjoy the sight of a bear in their swimming pool. So if you do want to keep them away, police advise that trash cans be secured in an enclosed area. Fallen fruits aren't left lying around for too long. And most of all, don't feed the bears. Australian woman wakes up to find huge python in her bedroom. This video has gone viral online after an Australian woman posted it to Facebook. Queensland woman Trina Hibbard, a resident of Mission Beach, apparently woke up one day to find this five meter long python in her bedroom. She affectionately named it Monty, you know, after Monty Python. According to Hibbard, she's pretty sure Monty has been around for a while and has been living in her roof. She says he used to slither down to the pool area for some food and water, and then slither back up just before sunrise. Which she seemed okay with, until she woke up one day to find Monty chillin' inside her bedroom. To give you an idea of just how big Monty the 5 meter python is, that's about the length of five baseball bats lined up end to end. Meaning his full length could stretch out from the bedroom and into the hallway. Somehow, Hibbert managed to lock the entire snake in the bedroom while she got help. Her post says she's pretty happy the python has been dealt with as, according to the snake catcher, Monty was a kangaroo killer. So, basically, Hibbert is probably lucky to be alive. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Woman finds black bear trapped inside her car. It's not every day you find a bear sitting in the backseat of your car, but that's exactly the surprise a woman in Colorado was dealt last week. On July 12th, 
Annie Bruker awoke to screams from her mother, who'd walked down her driveway and seen a black bear trapped inside her 2005 Subaru Outback. Bruker did admit to leaving her door unlocked, but even still, no one could figure out how the bear could possibly manage to unlatch the car door, jump in the back, and then close the door behind him. Yet somehow, he did, and local police were called in to try to handle the situation, keeping all parties safe, including the crafty bear. The officers decided the best solution was to quickly open the car door in hopes that the bear would scamper off. They pointed a shotgun at the animal just in case he got violent. When everyone was ready to go, one of the officers opened the trunk door, and luckily, the bear wasted no time in bolting back toward the forest. Fortunately, at the close of this odd occurrence, no one was harmed. However, the same can't be said for Annie Bruker's car, which suffered the wrath of a trapped and confused bear. Baby seal trapped in fishing net freed by surfers in Australia. On July 19th, a group of tourists on Manana Beach stumbled upon this poor little guy, trapped in this green fishing net and alone. The tourists quickly found help in the form of some local surfers, who grabbed a knife and managed to cut him loose. I'm trying to do this all in one go. Okay. Ready? Getting ready to run. You nearly got him, bro. That's him. He's gone. <laughs> As you can see, the moment he broke away, he bolted for the ocean and never looked back, much to the delight of his rescuers. It was far less of an ordeal than what another seal in nearby Tasmania went through a few days later. The 265-pound seal was found sleeping in the women's bathroom of a cemetery on July 26th. Wildlife officers, who named the seal Sammy, think he likely swam up a creek from the ocean roughly 500 meters away. But Sammy wasn't behind bars for long. After being sedated and removed from the ladies' room, he too was returned to the water, ready to swim toward his next wild adventure. Freedom at last. 5 foot 2 Alaska patrol woman chases away giant polar bear. Polar bears may seem all cute and cuddly, but you better make a run for it when one of these vicious, bloodthirsty, and man-eating animals barges into your house and tries to steal your food. It was last Friday when Ruby Kalik, a part-time polar bear patrol officer in the Alaskan town of Kaktovik, received a faint whispery call over her VFH radio. On the line was 81-year-old Betty Brower, calling from underneath a large window in her home after her humongous polar bear had broken in and began gulping down a drum of seal oil. When Kalik and her co-worker arrived at Brower's home to inspect the scene, the 5'2 patrol woman suddenly came upon the massive beast. The pair courageously shooed away the animal, not firing a single bullet. Apart from being a little shaken, Brower was thankfully uninjured. The incident wasn't the first time the elderly woman had had an encounter with the polar bear. In August, a bear nearly broke into her canvas tent at a fishing camp outside the town. Ever the badass, Kalik for her part, said she regretted not having taken a photo because the bear was the biggest she'd ever seen. 